Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day that uh, Tales of Aria comes out. Now, I usually don't like doing box opening videos, but I'm a fucking great mood today. You know, Seeds has been banned. You know, like it's 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 new 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 box season, new box season, bro. So I thought I got this uh, express delivered, and I thought I'd maybe do a box opening video. Uh, I'm there's nothing I really care about from this set. This is just because I, you know, just wanted to buy a box. You know, I'm still still meaning Brute. I think Brute's one of the strongest heroes in this new set now that we're going to, into a mid-range kind of, um, <clears throat> like mid-range kind of thing. Well, anyways, let's, let's go on to the, the <laughs> opening the box. Uh, Alright, don't mind my very beautiful hands. Alright, so, we got our case thingies here. In case we pull anything, um, I'm only hoping for Heart of Ice because eventually I do feel like I will want to open a caution. And then I, I played Old Him for a little bit, but that's about it. Like I have been playing Earth Briar, but I've been mainly building that so um, there's more di uh, more diverse meta because I feel like Briar was swept under the rug a little bit, but now with um, uh, the chain nerfs, I reckon. A lot of people will start jumping onto Briar. Alright, we'll go on to our first pack. We'll find a Briar pack because, you know, it's bloody Briar. Alright. Let's let's clean this up a little bit. Got some little progression series stuff. Oh yeah, the progression series. Um that will be happening next week. Or this week, like coming up this week. We've mainly just like slowed it down for like more content and um, you know, we we bought boxes and all that, so I thought I'd like leave for that. So, first pack. Got a shiver on the back. With an uh, embodiment of earth. I want an embodiment of earth and embodiment of lightning box. Or uh, thingy. Alright, so bludgeoning. We'll just we'll just go through these. And I think I'll just talk. Oh, that's not bad. Straight off the bat of Majestic. I think it's the worst one out of, out of the channels. But it's still not bad. Um, and I like to split up my rares if I've already gone past them, have I? Um, lightning press and... Well, yeah, I guess that was the other one. And foils. So, yeah, um, this meta right now, I feel like we're going into a very... Um, a very mid-range kind of meta. Because we're going to have a lot of good defensive decks to, like, counter Lexi. Because I... I think Lexi is actually pretty powerful, and you know, uh, Reinar, in my opinion, just takes the cake with that. All right, so a foil thump. <laughs> uh, thump's one of my favorite cards from this set, <laughs> and uh, Cracker Jacks. Good old Hungry Jacks that will never see play because you just run either Goliath Gauntlet or you run um, what's the other one? Um, Brave Forge Braces, which I still like, especially when you can, like, reveal a, um, bloody, what's the name of the card? Oh, we should probably, yeah, we have been. Uh, reveal a, 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 a zero pitch card. For Lightning Invigorate, Lightning Press, Frostfang for the foil. Nothing too great here. Oh, I've already screwed. Oh, no, no, I haven't, no, I haven't. All right. Um, yeah, I think Old Time is going to be a very fun deck to play. He feels very, um... Well, he just feels clunky. That's the only issue I find with Old Him. Very, um... Like, you need to mix all the elements together. And the biggest thing about him is you need three legendaries from this set. You need the, um... The, 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 the art, the... The shield, you need Crown of Seeds. Crown of Seeds, I feel like, is a necessity with the shield together. And then Heart of Ice. Because Heart of Ice is probably, in my opinion, the strongest chess piece ever printed. 
Uh, Electrify Winter's Bite, Entwine, and a Weave Lightning, and a Runaways. So yeah, um, I think this set is going to bring a lot of more fun decks into fruition. Um, yeah, fucking fuck chain. I'm so happy that that's gone now. You know, all of you guys have probably seen the video. If you haven't, probably watch it. <laughs> Man, I like... <sighs> now that Seeds is gone, um, like, it's a bit weird because I feel like Prism just takes over the meta as well. Prism's so strong. Um, it was already able to beat a lot of decks. I'm still yet to be able to beat a Prism. Um, in a large event somehow, even though I'm playing Brute. Uh, explosive Growth, Foils, Winter's Grasp, and then Everpleuth Grow. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, I play, I play bloody, um, uh, Brute. Every, every attack's basically six attack, but you need to kill the Auras, and because Brute doesn't have a lot of go-again attacks, you kind of have to roll Scabs. Um, to get rid of their Auras. It just feels really shit, and then they just build up all their shields and just hit you back. I don't know. I'm probably the worst person to be complaining about. I know all the Bravo players out there. Um, and I'm guessing old-time players are going to have a lot more of a harder time with Prism. Now that... Prism, Prism has no counter now, too. Oh, okay. Cold Foil, old, old Rotten Buckler. Um, not the greatest one to pull, but it is... It is something, right? Uh, let's, let's grab a sleeve. That doesn't mean that we can't still pull another cold foil, or at least the, um, the fabled as well. Um, but, um, uh, one good thing about this is, I think this is the, the shield you use in, um, in Blitz. Alrighty. And still can get some foil majestics as well, sorry if that tapping's a little bit too loud. But, you know, we know Yazi's luck. Yazi's only ever pulled one legendary and one legendary only. Uh, he, he, and did that take the equipment slot? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, Yazi has only ever pulled one legendary. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Um, I didn't buy too many boxes because, as I said, I don't really care for this set too much. Um, hoping that the admins of the Flesh and Blood uh, fan page accept this because now I'm on post to, uh, for approval. I mean, fair go, but at the same time, this, the main thing about me, right? Oh, Foil Force and uh, uh, Force of Nature. We need like, at least three of those. Like, I get why, but at the same time, like, I feel like a lot of people have an issue with me. I never really go out of my way to attack people. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I ever really have. And if someone claps at me, I'll try and clap back, but not be too offensive. And, you know, I can take something on the chin. I get that. You know, I've got a lot of really shitty takes, like the, the Briar art. I still think this is the worst art in the game, even compared to Katsu. Like, it's not even like... It's not even... Like, it's just one colour. Like, Katsu, at least you can tell as a hero. This just looks like a, a bunch of green on the screen. But, yeah. Um, hopefully, one of the admins, eventually, uh, stops, uh, you know, accepts me back into the flesh and blood community as far as, like, being able to post. Because, like, you know, I like to post. I don't, I don't think I'm too toxic. And... Yeah, as I said, a lot of people, people have an issue with me and, you know, yell at me because the way I think of things. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna open that one. Alrighty. So tomorrow, Winter's Bite, Invigorate, Electrify, Buzz Bolt, Turn Timber, Ice Quake, Entangle, and uh, Coat of Frost. Um, I, as far as, like, uh, like the guardian goes he feels really like all the all the like the guardian earth attacks and all the ice attacks like i want to play earth guardian because i feel like it's going to be a lot more defensive and that's kind of the way i like to play my decks i reckon he'll be able to like last a lot longer um 
but it really feels like you need a mixture of both, like a like of earth and ice, especially to get both effects off. But at the same time, mixing both in the one deck is very fucking annoying to get off. I kind of fucking do this. But a uh, frostbite and a briar. I don't think I've have I pulled an earth uh, an adult briar. Yeah, I probably will, but I still don't have one. Oh, I don't all time. I don't mind that. No, not yet. Alrighty. Now thought Surge, and Twine Ice, Winter's Grass, Winter's Grass, Bolden, Bolton Shot. Ooh, ooh, that's the alt art too. Ooh. That's very nice. I've never seen this in person. Fucking hell. And f oh, and, and, and it's the good one too. Like, it's it's not bad. Like, um, if you haven't seen Dozer's video on this card, this card is, like, absolutely bonkers in the correct deck. Fucking hell. I'll have to see how much those, those go for. Probably won't sell it. Probably, you know, frame it eventually. Alright. Not bad. Good saws. I guess that is better than, you know, an old rotten buck like cold foil. So we're, I think we're halfway through the, the box now. Um, so let's talk about the meta. Bolton, very strong hero. Um, I don't like the fact that they didn't uh, nerf Bolton as well, because I feel like now that Bolton, oh, there's our adult bra. Now that Bolton doesn't have a major counter, um, he can just like set up three cards in his soul, crack his chest and deal 30 damage in one turn. Um, I like. I think the minimum you need to have is four. Okay. Four cards in the um. Four cards in the the soul to be doing unstoppable um four attack. Um. Yeah, and the fact that they didn't nerf him like with that as well. Uh, he's just gonna pop every event. He outdoes um. What's his name? Uh, prison. Um, even though Prism on it on her own is gonna be amazing. Uh, and yeah. Um, yeah, Prism, Bolton. Hey, 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 and Livia. Levia's good now. Livia, I can finally play Levia. Uh, so the main thing that was stopping Levia was the fact that she needed to, like, block multiple instances of arcane damage. Um, she still has an amazing matchup against, uh, Prism as well, because she can just block out. She wants to block, that's the difference. Um, and usually that will, like, block with a, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, uh yeah, attack with a, a six attack first, or whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, Levy Death Profile coming soon. Um, I've got a very nice, very nice, um, uh, a costume for this one. Just waiting for everything to go out of lockdown, and maybe after a little bit of, um, little bit of the the season to die down like like all the hype of this new set all right explosive growth deep blue deep blue is like everyone keeps like hyping up this card i still think this card's kind of garbage compared to like best of the first fist or um what's the other ones best of the first fist of course tunic but we're talking about like common equipment and um uh, heart and cross trap. I think that those just take the cake because this is turning a card into a blue while you've got extra free resource off the other ones. Come on. Alrighty. Lady Lexington. These are runaways. I don't think I've ever read Cold Wave. If a Cold Wave was fused cards and activated abilities, oh, so it's basically just Heart of Frost. Um, on a on a on a, on a stats stick. I 
and Chilling Ice Fan. I really like this card. I re- like, um, it's really good with um, what's it called? Uh, the, the 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 shock charmers. Like this can just kill an entire hand if it wants to. So only three majestics in. Of course we've got our one foil. But usually it's like six majestics a box and two foil majestics. Those, those are usually the rates, like what I've found. Frost bite. Unfortunately I don't think the frostbite like now that it like will be a bit tempo, frostbite will be alright, but I feel like everyone will have enough like blues in their deck to still play frostbite. Not be able to like play one massive attack every single turn. Of course, Guardian has a horrible time against it. Um, like all time mirrors are probably gonna last an eternity. Yeah. Well, tell me what your favorite hero or what hero you'll be playing this set will be. Um, the only thing about my Reinar deck, I don't think anything changes. I know Snags come out now because you don't need Snag at all anymore. Um, so Snag and uh, what's the other card I'm putting in? I might put in Bonehead Barrier specifically just for like uh, versing Lexi and versing Briar. Because those ball lightnings do stack up with Electrifies too. Ooh, a blink. Not bad. Good size. And a Town Timber. Um, yeah, so one thing I've learned about playing old time is that you need to be running Crown of Seeds and um, all these defense reactions that um, that are like Earth Fusion and all that, you need to throw away your Arsenal card with Crown of Seeds, block with Shield, and then like pitch, and then like um, like block with Turn Timber or something like that. And that's how you get the value out of these cards. Not by Arsenaling them, because you mainly want to be Arsenaling the fusion cards you will be fusing off to do your attacks. So that's where like Oak and Old um, comes into play a lot, where Blossoming Spellblade will be able to be played, but I doubt I doubt Blossoming Spellblade is actually any good. I want that card to be good, but like there's nothing I really want to reveal of it, right? Yeah. Seismic Surge with Rosetta Thorn. Um, yeah, I'm extremely happy that Duskblade never saw the light of day, especially with the new set coming out too. The fact that uh, a hero like Chain was being it would have been able to still abuse that card, because everyone just will run like Marugian size and everything to gain extra go again and all that. And it's not like, oh, okay, there we got it. Put that in. I'll put that in one of these actually. Oh, that's a bit of an odd one, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, definitely going to have it kept out all the time. I, sorry, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Untwine Lightning, Sigil, Evergreen. Very cool, very cool. All right, um, yeah. <sighs> sorry, but, you know, I just came back from a massive walk with me dog. Passed out on the ground right now. Yeah, I, I don't mind the, the alt art channel like Frigid. Spe- like, it's going to be a card that will see a lot of fucking play. Lightning Press, Inspire Lightning, and Ragamuffin's Hat. Inspire Lightning, and a Falcon Shot. Uh, hopefully, Azalea will see some play. You know, I love that deck. I know all the Azalea players love that that deck too. It's just it's just a shame that it's like it is what it is with that hero. Um, I don't know if she's going to be able to like stand the test of time like all these other heroes from the first and second set. Like Wizard, oh yeah, Wizard, Wizard's fine now. Like I know Wizard has thirty health, but you just get like uh, Kano like. Kano technically turns every other hero into 30 health. Kind of like how Reinar does, but he's got 40 health. Um, yeah, and like this set, even though all these ice cards are out and all that, um, it still has a decent matchup against other heroes like um, 
like uh, Dorinthia has a good matchup against um, like the new chain in my opinion Prism in a way with Prism because she does have those spectral shields um, always like like during the the road to nationals um, during the road to nationals I had a really hard time against a Kano player he um, got me down to one health and it just came down to that I intimed the correct card so I didn't die Frostbite and ult him yeah I don't know what I'm playing for blitz yet I might actually be playing um uh, what's what's its name uh, lightning briar because lightning briar is just disgusting you put um Vest the first fist, you make your attacks hit, you get extra resource, you can go like resource and this as well with two ball of lightnings. Like that deck just needs to set up two ball of lightnings with uh, either shock charmers or like the marker lightning build uh, and run Arc Knight Skullcap. Yeah. Hey, another one. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a lot of testing with it. Glacial Footsteps, Foil Red. Wait, what's my other rare? Oh, that, that is a rare. And Suck with Suede. Yeah. Uh, last two packs. Not the greatest box in the world, but, you know, in a great mood. Why not just open the full box? New season here. So with my logic, these both should have a Majestic in them. And I think I have a place of this now too. Yep, there's there's our second. Oh, a foil exposed the elements. All right, all right. I don't mind that. Especially for um, is it the it is the ice ability that will destroy equipment. And the one cracked bauble. Yeah, I don't mind that. Oh, hold up. Ugh. Um, put that in sleeve. I really want this card to see that, like a lot of play. I think this card's so nice. It costs four, has dominate, but um, you know, revealing both the earth and the ice will be hard. So you probably will only ever be able to play it once per game. And as I said, I think the way you set it up is by with using crown and um. Uh, All right, last pack. Very last pack. Yeah. Rosetta Thorn, Seismic. All right, let's go through this one slowly. Got a Shock Striker, Icy Encounter, Rejuvenate, which isn't too bad. Breaking Ground, Entangle, Rites of Lightning for a rare. Hey! Pulse of Haven, I was right, and six Majestics, and a Stir in, uh, Stir Yellow Foil and a Lightning, an Amulet of Lightning. Yeah, not, not too bad of a box, I, like, I did get an Alt Art, of course, I'm pretty sure you can still get these in, like, normal foil, and not the Alt Art, um, but yeah, you know, it's very chill here in Australia right now. So dazzling crescendos, so, uh, yeah, no, we, we, like, we don't need to go over those edge comms. But yeah, um, I hope you like this very chill video of mine. Um, I'm very excited to start playing with all these new heroes, and thank you for watching for whoever who stayed, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, also, um, I. As I did state on the Flesh and Blood fan page, I am doing a lot of lore videos now. So I'm doing a lore video on each every hero. I'm rating their scales and everything. So like how like strong the hero is, how strong they are with their abilities and all that. Basically doing like a tier list, not a tier list, but like as like power scaling thing for every single hero as far as the lore goes. Um, and those will be coming up soon. I am putting a lot of effort into them. Um, if you didn't see it on the Flesh and Blood fan page, I am looking for some voice actors as well for certain heroes. So if you feel like you have a voice who specifically 
um, would be good for a specific hearer. Kind of like, you know, if you've got a kind of canoe voice or you've got someone like a viscerai voice that you feel like would be good. I am looking for people. Um, I'll, I'll put my, my email in the link below so that you could email me if you wanted to. I'm hoping it pops off. You know, I like doing law. I love the lore of this game. Um, Dead Samurai. If you haven't watched any lore videos, watch Dead Samurai. All right. That's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. You know, not too bad of a pull. So it was an old rotten buckler for our cold foil. But, you know, we did get this. See you in the next video.